This is so exciting. All right, I think we're live. There's no countdown. Oh, there we go. All right, it's been, oh my gosh, I can't even remember the last time that I went live. So far, nobody's here. Wait, there's two people here, five people here. <sighs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to my first live stream that I've had in goodness knows how long. This is an open format Q&A. So I'd kind of love to start off by first saying hello and seeing where you guys are tuning in from. I always love hearing, oh, hey, Selena. I always love hearing like where everybody's located in the world because immediately, like as we all share where we are, like the city, the town that you live in, it just creates this this feeling, this community of like, whoa, we are spread across the entire globe. So I'd love for you to share in the chat box in the comment section where you're located. Where are you tuning in from? I am tuning in from Encinitas, California. We've got Bradley from New York. We've got Elisa, Elisa from Minnesota. Jen from New York. Hmm. Got someone from the UK, Slovenia, Vermont, Lindsay from Columbus, Ohio. Hmm. Another New Yorker. Awesome. Ah, beautiful. We've got Phoebe from Rhode Island, Vancouver, Canada. Yay. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm excited to spend the next like 30 minutes or so with you, 30 to 60 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Oklahoma, California, Norway, Texas. Oh, Penelope Moon. So glad you're here. Oklahoma. Oh my God. I haven't seen you on YouTube since dreads. Whoa. What a, that's crazy. My hair is thriving. It's been years, but it's made a comeback. I nearly lost half my hair when I got dreadlocks. Awesome. We got someone in Finland, the Netherlands, Tennessee, Maui, the UK. SoCal. Hello. Hello. Yay. Okay. Well, let's dive right in. So as I started off with, you may have chimed in after this, but this is going to be an open format Q&A. And I'd love to start off by talking about some of the newer videos that I've been making. So I want to see in the comment section, have you guys watched some of my newer videos starting off with the hour, hour and 15 minute long video called Untitled. And then I've had a few longer ones as well, like 30, 40 minutes. I personally am just loving the free flow format. Like I feel that's always what's worked best for me. I've always loved live streams and just real time with no time constraint and no like need to cut things out or do things a certain way. Of course, it's so beautiful to like edit to videos as well. Um, but I've really been enjoying the new, the new style. And so curious to hear your guys' thoughts also on the topics that I've been talking about, reparenting, conscious parenting, conscious communication, the five personality patterns, all that good stuff. Hey, Denise. Oh, I'm glad that you've tuned in. Christy, yay. Hope that you can get to them. Missy, I was just curious what you've been up to. I've watched you since you had the dreads too. Okay, so for anyone who's like just... I don't know, maybe like live streams get the notifications out and other videos don't or something. But if you've been looking to see like, what have I been up to since the dread days? Obviously, there's so many videos in between now and then. Um, but if you want like the most recent update, it's going to be my video on my channel called Untitled. So you can watch that after this live stream. That's like the best way to catch up. Um, let's see. Jordan, hello. Uh, yes, I've loved that one. Great format. It felt, felt much more personal. I downloaded the audiobook version of the five personality patterns. Yay. Oh, you've helped me a lot. Awesome. 
Untitled video is amazing. I love it. I watch them like a podcast. I'll put on your new videos in the background while, while working. Awesome. Yeah, I've pondered like on creating a podcast. I guess what I am doing, it's like a video podcast, just not on the podcast app. Um, I'm glad YouTube to pop you up again. Hey, Shayla. I was watching when you changed your diet, but it fell off after that. Cool. Glad you're back. Ah. <sighs> Bradley says, I've never minded inconsistency anyway, since being consistent implies forced content. I love whatever you feel comfortable and passionate about releasing. Thank you. I so appreciate that. Yeah, there's a couple of people who commented on one of my recent videos saying like, hey, we really want the vlogs back, want to see what you're up to in life. And I just, I feel most called to share this free form content right now, sit down, talk like, so you can really get to know me. And like, um, I feel that they're much more personal, even like in a video where I'm showing things that are happening, like just being able to sit down, have no edits whatsoever. That's what I'm feeling excited about. Drew says, why you disappear? YouTube is your home. I don't know if I disappeared. I mean, I think there is maybe a little gap, like not videos every single week, but I've been pretty steady here. But I guess the answer is why did I disappear on any level is like, whoa, needing some time for personal life. Like I've been sharing my life journey on YouTube for like seven or eight years now. And felt really healthy to just like come a little more private. Do, do, do. Hey, Katie. Hey, it's Amy says, how do you disconnect and relax recharge? Yeah. So if you guys have any questions, you can just start putting those in the chat and I'll just answer one by one. How do I disconnect and relax recharge? Number one thing is turning off the screens. I guess I should move this closer to me. Number one thing is turning off the screens, like just getting off the computer, putting my phone on do not disturb or just not using it and like walking outside, taking a walk, going to the beach, sitting outside in my yard, watering my new herb garden. I'll have to show you guys my herb garden soon. Hanging out with Silo, like breathing. Really anything off of a screen feels like relaxation. Um, did you color your hair or is it slowly going back to your natural color? A little bit of both. I did recently get it colored, but this is, this is pretty darn close to my natural color. Like when I spend a lot of time in the sun, which I have been, uh, I get these natural highlights, especially in the front. Um, but this is like, this is my natural root color. So that is that. But yeah, trying to get it back to the natural. So rebuilding the health of my hair. I just got a trim, so it's more fresh at the ends. Ooh, Megan Page asks, what is your current go-to morning drink? Coffee, tea, water? Ooh, this is so exciting because back in December, I stopped drinking coffee, like the beginning of December. And so December, January, February, March, April, almost six months now, I have not drank coffee. So I, I switched to green tea and then chai tea. And for the last month or so, I've been making matcha lattes every single morning. So I make my own hemp milk. I'm working with a naturopath right now. And so I took a food sensitivity test and I'm sensitive to oats and almonds and some of like the additives that are in a lot of the dairy-free milks that are in the stores. And so I've been making my own hemp milk, which basically is just I put hemp seeds in a bowl with water and let them soak. And then I drain it. Then I put the hemp seeds in a blender with more fresh water and like a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of stevia. And I blend that up and then I like strain it through a cheesecloth or I don't know if there's another word for that, but like a little thin bag where like the hemp milk can come through and then like the leftover hemp seed just stays in the bag. And it it's like so fresh compared to store-bought milk that I'll put that in my matcha latte with a little bit of honey or stevia and then some collagen powder. So that has been my jam for morning beverage. Let's see. 
Missy, what's your favorite type of self-care thing you do these days? Um, my favorite type of self-care recently is just being, <laughs> like just noticing this present moment and the sounds of nature, the sounds of reality. So right now there's an airplane and there's birds chirping and there's a fountain outside my house. And just like really tuning into this moment, like this moment I'm live with my YouTube family. I've got fresh electrolyte water. I've also been getting into Epsom salt baths. So that's a new thing too. What shampoo do you use now? I have been using the Organic Excellence shampoo for the last like five, six years now. But whenever I get my hair like freshly colored, which I did about a week ago, um, I do use a color shampoo, like whatever one they recommend for like about a month afterwards. And then I go back to the Organic Excellence just to keep the color fresh because the Organic Excellence isn't meant to be used, I don't think, with like color treated hair. So I try to maintain that for like a few weeks to a month. And then I go back to the Organic Excellence, which I have that on my website for you to check it out. Um, Let's see. Wait, I saw Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Hmm. Carrie Ford, do you see yourself coming back to Instagram? I do not. Not in this moment. Not in the foreseeable future. I am so thoroughly enjoying reality off of Instagram. Like, just so much more at ease and peaceful. And I feel like time is an illusion. Like I have so much more time to do anything and everything. I felt like my time was just sucked into that platform. And somehow that just kept me on my phone more in general, I guess, because of like the constant posting and just the way the app is designed. Um, I, yeah, I'm loving life off of Instagram. And I've talked, I've spoken to a lot of people who have been taking breaks or just getting off Instagram and saying the same exact thing, like nervous system, so much more calm, so much more peaceful, so much more present and like happier. Like I just spoke with someone yes, two days ago who was just like, I'm so much happier off of this platform. Love Epsom salts. Yes. Bradley says, I've been working on that myself, wanting to distance myself from heavy phone internet usage. Yeah, it seems like a huge theme, huge theme right now. Can you guys hear me well, by the way? Do you hear me better if I go closer? I don't like to have it like right up to my face. I like to have some space to breathe. Katie, you look like you're enjoying life. I am. I am thoroughly enjoying life. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys can hear me. Awesome. Sarah says, hi, once you talked about trying microdosing, are you still doing it? I have not been microdosing. No, it's been quite a while now. I microdosed once a few months ago. And what I've noticed is like, there seems to be some correlation between the work that I'm like the energetics work that I'm doing right now, and becoming more sensitive and tapped in to the subtle energies of life that whenever, like in the past few years, whenever I've microdosed, it's so much more intense. Um, at least that's what I noticed a few months ago when I did. And so, yeah, I just don't feel as called to as I used to. Like I, was, I think it served a purpose for me and there may be a time in the future when I return to that. I wouldn't, wouldn't doubt it, but I have not been. What other questions, curiosities, for those of you who have maybe still been tuning into my videos and you're more up to date with what's been going on, curious if you guys have any questions or if it's been a hot second and you're like, who is this person I'm watching right now? <laughs> curious what curiosities you guys have. Do I still use cannabis? No. Gosh, I can't even remember. I think the last time was like two years ago. And even then, that was like once and like, yeah, I just personally not a user. Did you stop coffee because of energy work? Um, no, 
I I stopped coffee. Actually, I was having I was in Hawaii at the time and I like this past December and oh, thank you guys for the questions. I'm going to get to all them. Um, I was on the phone with a friend and we we're just talking about co- she was talking about how she was getting off of no or she hadn't been drinking coffee for a long time. And I just like had this moment where I where my awareness was brought to coffee. And I was like, I drink coffee in the past, I had drank coffee so unconsciously for like, I think it was like three years straight without taking any breaks. Maybe a little bit less than that. Again, time is like confusing. (laughs) But I just realized I was like, I don't actually want to rely on something like this. Like I was drinking coffee to the point of if I didn't have it and it was like 1 p.m., I would get a headache. And so I was reliant on it. And just something about the right conversation at the right time with my friend, I was like, I'm going to wean off of this. And so I went from coffee to green tea. The main the main reason why I did was because I didn't want to be reliant on something. I, wanted, I want to, and now I do, wake up feeling mo- like ready to go and I don't need to have something. Like if I miss a matcha latte, it's not nearly the same as if I missed a coffee. And so that's where I'm at right now. Let's see. Do you feel like you've settled into a comfortable family lifestyle with Luke and Silo? So much yes. Silo is sleeping on my bed. I wonder if I can move my whole computer and show you Silo. Let's see if I can. Silo! This is my bedroom. Silo Nelson. There he is, Silo! Silo! Yeah, he's fast asleep. So that's where I'm at. My bedroom is in my office now, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, best family life ever with Silo and Luke. And like, Silo is Luke's little buddy. Like, when I think of man's best friend, Silo and Luke have just, especially since living just the three of us, Silo and Luke have cultivated the sweetest bond I've ever seen in my life. And it low-key gets me excited for kids. (laughs) But I'm also being present with what it is right here and now. So, um, let's see. Other questions. Brittany says, I bought the five personality patterns book after your last video and I'm so excited to dive in. Yes, I'm so excited. Brittany, you'll have to update me like in the comment section of upcoming videos, what you recognize are your primary and secondary patterns and just like how the book has supported you. Dahmer says, I just wanted to say that I admire the way you've dealt with concern trolls in your comments. This is most malicious form of trolling, in my opinion, and very common on YouTube. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's been a journey. I've learned a lot from it, and ultimately, it's it's supported me in becoming so much stronger. Sam asks, are you planning on staying in Hawaii long-term in your future? That is definitely a part of the master plan. Yeah. I would love to and am dedicated to building my own home in Hawaii in the upcoming years, like a simple little cottage. And yeah, that's definitely, definitely part of it. And I see Luke and I having multiple homes, like we'll probably have a little home in Hawaii, which maybe will be like more of my little dwelling. And then we'll maybe have a home here or in Nashville or somewhere else in the world. Yeah. Let's see. Kara asks, would you ever hike another long distance trail? I would. I would at some point in the future. I guess it depends on how long distance. I would. Yeah. Definitely like still that adventure spirit in me and loving nature. And I think that would be so fun to do with like, I don't know what age children, but I think that would be such a like, wild and transformative like summer experience like you know how some kids will like go to summer camp for like six weeks or something like hiking like a through hike or a long distance hike as a family or with like even like one child would be like really bonding and sweet yeah it's thirsty thirsty (laughs) 
I'm like watching my throat. Gulp, gulp. Okay. Brittany asks, are you going to do a house tour video? Potentially. As I shared at the beginning of this video, I'm really enjoying the free flow, sit down, talk, like, like we're right here in this moment together versus like a whole production of like, here's what's happening. Um, yeah, that's what I feel most aligned with right now. But I do love my new home that I'm in. You guys just caught like a little glimpse of one of the rooms. Um, I imagine that I will in the future, but no plans to right now. Sam said, have you heard of mud water before? It's a good alternative. I have, and I think I've tried it once. Excuse me. My parents sent me what, mud water for Christmas or for my birthday a couple years ago. I'm enjoying matcha, but yeah, I don't know. Is, is mud water like sweet at all? Does it taste like coffee? I can't remember. Maybe I didn't try it on its own. No, I didn't because I was still drinking coffee when my parents sent me the mud water. So I think I mixed it with coffee. Yeah. I think it's okay to be excited about kids one day. For sure. Maya says, I'm loving the new unedited videos. Yes, me too. Brittany asks, how is the children's book coming along? It is coming along slowly but surely. I noticed that right now my main priority is the Conscious Parenting podcast. And the book is still is still an excitement. And my focus more so with like how I've been spending my time and energy has been um, on the podcast and getting guests on board. Yeah. But yeah, coloring book. Uh, what was I just, I was just talking to Luke about the coloring book. Oh, Luke is talking, yeah. Luke is talking about like having a, a local studio and, and like shooting video and photo content. And I was like, oh, you can shoot Silo's like headshot for the cover of the book. No, it'll probably, it'll be like an animated version of Silo, but it's coming along. Um, Janelle asked, did you start the last round of your alignment program already? Yes. So right now we're about halfway through the last round of alignment accelerator. I am pondering on the option of um, like just offering the curriculum alone without the coaching component moving forward, because I'm going to start coaching in a different capacity. Like right now I'm offering one-on-one -on -one calls, which you guys can find through my website. And I'll likely start like another group container, um, more focused on energetics and emotions and conscious communication and reparenting and all that goodness. Um, so I've been pondering on like packaging up alignment accelerator and offering, offering the full curriculum and assignments as is, but yeah, I'm in the last round. Courtney says, I'm so sad. When I moved, I misplaced your coloring book. It calmed me. No, I think I have like three to five left still inside. Luke and I have like a little shed outside of our home because there's not much storage inside of this house. Um, so I could potentially send you one more. Yeah. But yeah, they're dwindling. Uh, Chloe, hi, I've been a fan since I was 11. Thank you for your content. Oh my gosh, sister. So wild how the years have passed. Like it's 2022, fam. Wow. I think we started this when it was 2015. I think that's how long it's been. <sighs> what was your favorite trail food? Oh my gosh, my trail, it, it varied like because I would eat something and like really love it and then I would get sick of it like a few days or a week later. Uh, towards the end of the trail, my favorite trail food was peanut butter and jelly bagels. So like an everything bagel with peanut butter on one side, jelly on the other side put together. <laughs> like anything to get the calories in, but that was that was my favorite last thing on the trail. Not the healthiest. Uh, do you still suffer of mold? No, I do not. I am healthy, free of mold. And oh yeah, that's a video that I'm going to make for you guys. I want, I'm going to share with you like the newest learning that I had when it came to mold in my environment and my health. And when it comes to like chronic illness, there's, there's a whole story, a whole situation that I'm going to share with you guys in an upcoming video. 
Um, mud water is like a chai flavor. Very delicious with oat milk. Oh, cool. Okay, that gets me reinterested because I love chai. I remember watching you after school in high school, LOL, during the raw alignment days. It's been great to grow up with you and see the growth in your content. Aw, so wild. That's so exciting. Hmm. Yeah, really glad that you've been here. And it does feel like we're all growing side by side each other, which feels exciting. All right. Do we got a couple more questions? So I'm going to stay on for another five or 10 minutes or so. Let's get deep questions. Let's get the really curious questions. I'm now in college. It's so crazy how much everything has changed since then. Yeah. I know. Like Phoebe said, I was watching you after high school. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I watch in high school? I used to watch The OC. And I used to watch that show called Weeds. Like both those shows like every day after high school. And I'm like... Whoa, you guys are watching me. That's cool. How do you motivate yourself when you're extremely low? Uh, honestly, like stripping away, like getting curious about what, what is contributing to feeling low. Like why am I feeling low? Am I exhausted? Well, then I'll probably actually take a nap or I'll probably actually rest instead of trying to motivate myself. Like the days are over where we push through when our body is telling us to do something else, to care for ourselves. So when it comes to motivation, like I think the best way that I get like naturally motivated is to get great sleep, to stay hydrated, to exercise, to eat healthy. And like if I've got my basics in check and I'm like social, like connecting with people in person, on the phone, um, that seems to create this natural motivation. When those things are all empty, then I'm probably not going to feel that motivated. And then to push through and try and force myself to do something just doesn't feel right. So when it comes to motivation, fulfill the basics. Sarah asks, how do you know if it is the one? Like you just know or you look for specific cues? Wait, what do you mean? Like what's the one? I love weed so much. What's your morning and evening routine like? Mm, my morning routine recently has been I wake up and I have this little like device thing that my naturopath recommended to me. It's called the human charger. And so I put this on and then I put these in my ears and they emit like a light like um, like it just actually it would almost look like there's a mini flashlight in here. And I put that in my ear. It doesn't make any sound. It just puts light in my ear. And apparently that's supposed to support resetting my circadian rhythm so that I can start naturally waking up earlier and going to sleep earlier. Um, so that's part of my morning routine. I take my temperature with my natural birth control, plug that in my phone. I take some supplements. I make my matcha latte. I fulfill, fill up my hydro flask. I go and check my herb garden outside and I water my herbs and I water some of the plants and I clean up some of the dishes that may have been left over last night and I open up all the blinds in my house and sometimes I'll light candles or incense or put on a little bit of music. Sometimes I'll meditate. Sometimes I'll like walk out my front door and walk out to the ocean and come back. Um, sometimes I'll have like a deep connecting moment with Silo. I'll make my bed. Sometimes I'll meditate. I might have already said that. Sometimes I'll go to the gym or work out at home, take a walk, lay out in the sun. Those are like a lot of the things that I spend my mornings doing. I mean in a relationship. Oh, Sarah, how do you know if it's the one in a relationship? Like you just know or you look for specific cues? Oh, ah, when it comes to relationship, I guess it depends. Like, are you set on the, like, it depends if your perspective is that there is the one that you're going to spend the rest of your life with, or 
if if you're young and you're just like, I want to be in a healthy relationship. Like for me, a cue of, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Hmm. I guess something that I've noticed is like, there's such beauty in sharing commitment to each other. So like when it comes to relationship, when somebody is sharing their commitment and like dedication to me and to our relationship, that allows me to sink deeper into also choosing and committing. And so then I vocalize that and it's kind of this like strength with each other that we build through action and through words and through feelings of like, this is it. Like, I'm in this with you. We're in this together. It's like choosing. Um, do you take supplements? Yes, I've just started taking supplements again. Oh, guided by sunshine. Have you found any foods to inhibit your mental health? Good question. Gluten fucks me up. <laughs> Gluten is no bueno. Um, I shared this earlier, but I recently took a food sensitivity test and gluten, soy, and peanuts are like I'm super sensitive to. So I was aware of gluten for a while now, um, but soy and peanuts were something that I just didn't know about. So I haven't had those in the last two months and I'm just trying it out. Quinn, do you think you'll come back to YouTube? What do you mean? We're on YouTube right now. <laughs> what do you mean? Wanderlust, will you ever do a retreat in Australia again? I was just talking to my friend Carly about that. Like in the last week, we were talking about the retreat that I had in Australia and how freaking fun it was. I will likely do that again. No, no plans in this moment. Um, yeah, like Hawaii just feels like where I love to host retreats. Australia is a trek. It's like 13 or 18 hour flight and it's a whole thing, but probably do that at some point again because there was such a beautiful retreat center that I hosted that retreat at. All right, fam, I'm going to answer two more questions and then I'm going to hop off. So ask away. Also, if you're here right now and you haven't already given this video a little thumbs up, I think there's 70 people in the room and we got 15 thumbs up. Let's see if we can get that to 50 thumbs up. If you're excited to be here, if you're vibing, if you want more Q&A videos, there we go. We got more thumbs up. A demonstration of support. Awesome. All right. We got two more questions. Part of me is like, I don't want to look and I just want to choose two randomly. It's so fun to do live Q&As. It's so fun to be live with you guys. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, Sarah just asked, do you know Africa Brooke or her work? Yes, I got introduced to Africa Brooke, I think about six, six months ago. Nah, maybe, maybe like a year ago, maybe last summer. One of my past clients uh, shared her work with me and was like, you got to check her out. Like you resonate so much. And I do. I do resonate a lot. I think she's on a great trajectory and sharing really important information. Also, she's beautiful, like such a beautiful being inside and out. All right, one more question. One more question. I invite you, if you are tuning in right now, like I know there's those, and like I know this because I am this. <laughs> I'm like the person who tunes in and like just watches most of the time. Sometimes I'll ask a question, but if you're someone who doesn't normally ask a question, I invite you to ask a question because sometimes it's like the same people who are asking and I want to give everyone the opportunity. So if you're someone who normally doesn't ask and you're kind of just tuning in, let's, let's see what you're curious about. All right, I'm going to answer Carrie's question, and then I'm going to answer a question from someone new who hasn't asked yet. Carrie Ford asks, who's your favorite thought leader right now? Ah, right now, thought leader. Thought leader. Hmm. 
Ooh, I don't know if I have a main favorite. Like I can very quickly be like the author of the five personality patterns is my favorite, but I don't know if you would consider him a thought leader. I guess an author is a thought leader. I'll just share a few. Like, as you guys know, I don't typically, like, I don't tune into a ton of content and this has been consistent over the years. Um, but when it comes to people that I've been tuning into recently, Stephen Kessler, the author of The Five Personality Patterns, Alpha Femme, um, what's her name? I'm drawing a blank in this moment. Oh yeah, Melanie Ann Layer from Alpha Femme. Um, the, the psychologist, Dr. Nicole, who has like blown up recently, love the work that she's doing. And it's so closely related to the work that I've been doing for the past few years with my mentors. Love what she's putting out there. Um, I think that's like it. Yeah. I tuned into her stuff recently. I tuned into Melanie and layer like a month ago. I don't like tune into stuff. Um, every day or I will like every day with like one person for like a month or a week. Um, so them, I always love going to Ellen Fisher's YouTube channel and, and watching her videos and her little kiddos and her life in Hawaii. Um, that's more of like a visual feel good, like, mm. um, Melanie and layer for like mindset, manifestation, abundance, prosperity, Nicole psychologist for just like so like stoked on her getting this work out to so many people. Um, yeah, that's what's coming through right now. Let's see. Um, Phoebe asks, what are you focusing on in one-on-one -on -one coaching? Yeah. So right now in one-on-one -on -one coaching, very focused on expanding beyond the human conditioning, right? So most of us know we are who we are because of how we were raised. And with that, there's a lot of teachings and skill sets that we maybe didn't learn when we were growing up. And instead, we got this conditioning and these patterns that are maybe not the healthiest from our parents, from our caregivers, from society. It's Silo, it's okay. Silo, hey, hey, hey. Bubba. Um, so expanding beyond those patterns into a more awake and aware and conscious state of being. So instead of reacting, it's slowing down, regulating the nervous system, calming down, feeling at ease and grounded, and then responding consciously. Also conscious communication, improving interpersonal relationships, deepening connection in relationships, relating to ourselves and others in a more healthy, conscious way. So that's some of the focuses. But really, it's like when I hop on one-on-one -on -one calls, it's whatever the individual is looking for support with, we dive a little deeper into that. Like, where's that coming from? What's really happening? And then the modalities and techniques and action steps to best support their unique situation. Alrighty. Ah. All right, fam. I think that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for being here with me and spending some time with me. I'm so grateful for you. And if you haven't already tuned into my recent videos, that'll give you more of a feel on what's present for me and what's happening in my life, what the things are I'm interested in and learning about and integrating and all that goodness. And as always, if you ever have any ideas, things that you'd like me to share about in future videos or questions that you have for me, you can always just comment on any video or visit my um, contact page on my new website and, and be in touch. So Blessings to you all. I appreciate you. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And I will see you when I see you next. Mwah.